Hello everyone, I want to tell you how to email for schools. The difference between emailing schools and emailing businesses is that if the template for school didn't change, we don't need to recreate the promos. We are just sending them again. But for businesses, all the time we should create them from the beginning. Okay, so if you go to Philippine emailing on an external drive, then to do emailing, then go to schools, then based on the company, top, peel or forward, for example, top, you can see the list of all the sports that we can send for schools. And if you get in, you can see, for example, the template and the body of email. But when I tell you that you just need to resend the emails to schools, you need to go to all emails, then based on the company, for example, top, then you can see that we have businesses and schools. So we go to school, then the year that we are going to work on, and then sports. Okay, then you can see that we have a folder for each sport. When you get in, you can see the last time that this promo was sent to that school. So it was in April. If you go to anything else, it was April and June, for example. Something like that, okay? So after that, you just need to create when you are in the sports and then the, you select the dashboard that you want to resend like for example badminton the only thing that you should do is create a new folder <coughs> according to the months you are going to send to school so we are in september so we need this folder as september the only thing that you should do is go to the previous months, just copy this folder final output, nothing else. Just copy this, come back to the new one, and just paste it. So you should wait till it's done, okay? So you have all the promos ready. Imagine that it's, we did it, for example, like, for example, it was April, and then we did it for, for example, June, okay? So the only thing that we are copy and pasting from the previous months is final output, okay? So we have final output here with all the PDF files double standard and white we don't need the contact okay so we just delete the contact and we don't have anything else like this okay so let me just go there imagine that for example we have we have double dark white and standard with all the pdf files that we copy and paste okay this is the only thing that you can see in the september folder then you need to create a csv folder and now you should just prepare sheet one and where you can find the data from there you just go to philippine emailing and then to do emailing data for schools then we are going to send for example high schools that was for high schools so we just go to a high school then it was what it was it was badminton so we go to badminton and copy the latest version of Excel which is there just copy it and bring it here and 
then we just open that one and start working it on that exactly the same procedure that we did for businesses for example we just sorted if there's any closed one we just remove them okay there are some notes for schools we are not sending anything if we sort the provinces I'm making some notes for you guys we don't email to East provinces N E N B P E and S K so if you have these four provinces you just need to delete those rows we don't email to those one that said unsubscribe for example we are sending from top so anything unsubscribe from top or unsubscribe for both or all or something like that we should omit them we are not emailing if we are emailing from anywhere else except peel if we are sending from peel that's fine but if we are sending from top or forward we are not sending anything to Dufferin Peel School Board. So I will mention it top, from top and forward. Okay? So we won't email this school board. Then for Duran Destink School Board, we just need to check whether the email address is correct or not because they changed the domain so we need to make sure that it's corrected or not okay so now we said that we are not sending to nb and s so we delete them then if you have any PE or SK, so we delete these two. Okay. Then we said that we don't send anything to. This is the school board. So every time that you have the P the Excel file, you should be sure that you have this column, school board. So we just sorted. And then we go to Dufferin Peel. You can see Dufferin Peel. So we just delete Dufferin Peels. I said that we should check Duran this thing school board. So we just go to their email. You can see all of the emails are wrong. We need to revise these emails. And how it should be done? It says that first name dot last name at ddsb.ca. Okay. So first name and last name. <coughs> we need to Richard dot Holly at ddsb. B C A like this okay so you need to revise all of them imagine that we make everything correct okay now this is the file that is ready to email okay we just need to prepare it we just save it as what it is and then remove those columns that we don't want so and the difference between this one and businesses is that we always have contact in the beginning we said contact company address and the rest right we are emailing to badminton 
So the first one should be badminton coach name. So this is the badminton coach name. So we just cut this one and bring it to the first column. Okay? Then company address city province, postal code dark color, light color, school short name, mascot code, color group. We need email now. And as you can see, it's badminton email, not just email. Okay? So it means that this information that we have in this sheet is just for badminton in that school. All about badminton coaches and badminton emails. Okay? Then you need to sort status to check for example if they said anything about do not email we just remove those ones if they said anything about top because we are sending from top we delete those ones for all just delete or both delete and again top Fix not email. And something like this. Never send. Or something like wrong email. We just delete those ones. Okay. So we don't need the status anymore. Now we should do exactly the same way that we were fixing everything according to businesses. For example, contact name, the first letter of contact name should be capital and if we have more than one contact, the separation should be by comma, okay? So we should check that we have all the information for that. For example, this one is not correct, we should revise it. If you have email, but you don't have the name, we just mention the name of that sport, which is badminton. We just mention it, badminton department. If it's basketball, we just mention basketball department. Okay? So, if we have the email, we and we don't have the contact name, we just mention it. But before doing that, we go to here. You can see that they have lots of names here, but this one doesn't have any email. So we just delete it. But sometimes, for example, this one, okay, think that you don't have the name, okay? Before naming it as badminton department, go to the email and see that whether you can make the name of that person or not. Like Dennis Wong. This is the name of the person. So if we come back, this should be exactly matching with this one. Okay? So even if we don't have the name, we should check the email to see whether we can realize the name of the person or not. Okay? Because the name of the, the email is in a way that we can realize the name of the coach. You can see that between more than one email, there should be semicolon, not comma. Okay? So you need to fix these errors all. And then, like before, go and check the, for example, 
dark color, light color, and color group should be matching all the time. There shouldn't be any light color here. If we have any light color, we just remove those ones. Everything the same as businesses. Now, this is ready, for example, we just save it as sheet one. Just one note, if you have more than one sheet, do you remember that I, I grabbed this badminton from Philippine emailing, to do emailing, data school, then high school, badminton. Like, look at basketball. For basketball, we have lots of files because it depends on is it boys, junior, senior, female, girls, or anything, okay? So the thing is, you should copy all of these files in your folder, then do all of those checking that I mentioned for each of these files, and at the end, you should merge all these files together so that you will have one sheet one okay then like before you use format act for creating contact and then run the step one and then run step two okay just for body app email for schools you should go back to to do emailing and then a school and then based on the company which was for example top if you go to each of these ones, each one has its own body of email. So you should be sure that everything is matching with the body of email and all of the <coughs> things, okay? For peel, we have a guide here because we have only one body of email. But you can see this, I highlighted in red. So, for example, you are emailing for basketballs. You just need to come and change wrestling to basketball. And then use this body of email. Okay? And I even mentioned it in the guide. For all the spirits where use this body of email, just change it according to that sport. In the word file, right now it's wrestling, which is highlighted in red. You need to change it and you should be careful because when you're sending badminton, the body of email should be badminton too, nothing else, okay? So, I just review what I told you. First thing, go to the company that you want to email from. Forward, forward, top, or peel. Then select whether you are emailing businesses or school, which is a school. And then the year, and then, for example, the sports. Then the sports that you want to email. Then Create the new folder based on the months that you are going to email. And then go to previous months and just copy final output and paste it in your folder. Then for data, go to to do emailing, data school, high school and that export and then grab the excel file and copy it to your folder after that do all those notes that i mentioned remove all the east provinces remove all unsubscribe remove the from peel school board if you are sending from top or forward and then check Durham desk Drink school board whether the email address is correct or not. If not, you should fix it. 
and then prepare sheet one. Prepare sheet one. And then by format act, just create the contact in your final output and then run step one with the body of email that you have on to do emailing schools and then based on each sports you have one body of email there just use that and be careful that everything is correct and then run step two and send test emails to me okay after you're done you need to fill the tracking and the tracking for emailing schools if you remember you have email tracking that you are sending me everything like this that's how many you email or anything like that but for the schools we have school email tracking okay for example we emailed basketball sublimation in August 28th it was the date that it should be sent but it was sent on August 30th and this is the total number of the rows in CSV that means we sent emails to them okay so we are not sending any sports at the same time from top peel and forward that's the most important part so for example when I send it from peel I'm not allowed to send it right now from top or from forward I should wait for two weeks then I can send it for example this time from top or from forward okay so all the time you have to fill this tracking and mention the send date because based on that we can realize that for example next time that we should send it for example from top I will mention this as for example 14 So next time, this promo, but from top, should be sent to all of those schools again on 14th of September, okay? We are not sending less than two weeks to any schools. So I will fill this information, the and then you can start working on that based on the date that I mentioned that it should be sent. You can prepare the files, but you should send it exactly the date that I told you, or one or two days just after that, like this. 28 was the due date, but it was sent on 30th which is fine, but it shouldn't be later than one or two days just be careful and thanks for watching